Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time. Um, I wanted to show you, go through all the Stampin' Up! Um, papers I got recently. I ordered from a friend who does Stampin' Up! I will link her shopping site down below if you want any of these and you think they're super cute. Um, so there are two of these. I ordered two, of course. So I will put one into my... Halloween paper section on my cart and then I will open one up and then we'll go through the others as well. I'm going to set these aside and then open as I go. So this one I'm going to be super careful opening. It's called Cute Halloween. These ones only come in six by six. Uh, I'm not sure why but that's fine. And so it's probably like the same amount of paper, maybe square footage wise. I'm not actually sure. Um, but just in six by six format. So there's that. Um, I probably won't keep this because I don't need it, but that is the, let's see, this is the item number, if that helps, 156479. And yeah, but. I just order by looks anyway, so I don't keep the card insert. Um, and they do have a backside, and a lot of the backsides, if not all of them, are black and white. So I thought that was kind of cool. So we get one, two, three, four, six sheets of each design. So this one, it's super cute. I love the texture of the pink and the purple on the ghosts. That's pretty, pretty cute. So there's that one. And then six of this one. Got kitty cats and pumpkins. They also have a stamp set and then a punch that can punch out these things like the ghosts and the cats and the pumpkins. Um, their punches sometimes don't really make sense because the punch has three images uh, on it already and it's a punch and so you kind of have to ruin other areas to punch out images when like a die would make more sense uh, but Stampin' Up! isn't they're not big into dies there's some some stamp sets they'll release that they just don't make dies for um, they just work a little bit differently oh I forgot to show you the back side the back side of the ghost one is a bunch of fonts of boo and the back of the kitty cat pumpkins it's like a distressed stripe. And then there's six of these Halloween colors, orange, black, green, purple, pink. Distressed polka dots. I'm just gonna call that distressed because I'm not sure what else to call like, you know, some of the color missing. This one's really cute. I'm loving this pink pastelloween situation. That's him dressed as a vampire <laughs> that's cute and uh pumpkins again did not show you the back the back of this one is candy the back of the bats is just distressed black hopefully you can see the detail on that one then we've got orange and black distressed stripes and then the back side, just black and white dots like the colored ones, but black and white. And then skulls, gravestones, headstones, and birdies. They're pretty cute. And then kind of like gray and white distressed. I hope to make a lot of different things, not just cards. Uh, when it gets to Halloween, I tend to want to make things that are not cards. I don't know what it is about Halloween that lets me like loosen up a little bit crafty wise, but maybe because it's my favorite. Um, we've got little haunted houses with moons and ghosts and bats. And then this one is a gray and white background. And then this is the last one. And that's like distressed multicolored stripes. 
black, orange, purple, green, and pink. So that would be the color palette for this set. So I'll put those with my Halloween paper. All right. And then the next one is called Painted Christmas which I was very excited about because just the water colorness of it. Oops, sorry about that. So it's like watercolor designs. The um, item number on this one is 156292. Painted Christmas turn it that way. So there's two of each. This is the front side. I like that a lot. And then that one, ooh, that's nice too. Um, I'll just go to the bottom until I get to the end. Then we've got pine cones and greenery. Very pretty and green and white. This one's got kind of like a like a craft craft colored background, I would say, with some holly berries, I think. I don't know. I think holly berries are actually white. Um, I think I've gotten that wrong for so long. <laughs> um, the back side is pale green or light green with white. Holly and Ivy. <laughs> then we've got pine cones on kind of a craft tinted situation. This one's really cool. Watercolor reds and light pinks. Kind of looks like brick, but not really. Not sure how to describe that. Some more greenery. Not really getting a Christmas vibe from either of these, but that doesn't mean I can't use them for other things. And then, ooh, this one. This is much more Christmassy. I think the red and green helps, but I like the hint of pink in there too. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, so that is the end of that one. I'm just going to set that aside. Okay, and then we have sweet stockings. This one is super cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. Ow. Um, but it was too cute not to get. So this one, uh, the item number 156281, sweet stockings. We get two sheets of kitty in a gift box and a doggy covered in Christmas lights and the mouse carrying the gift. I really gouged myself there. Um, and then kind of like a stitched red background and then <laughs> puppies and kitties and stockings and mice and a guinea pig is what it looks like this guy doesn't look too happy that's pretty cute and then the backside design that would be good for like a stocking design And then <laughs> this cat, who's not amused again, which this is normal, with his headband on and the dog with the wreath. And there's a bird with some mail. And another good stocking design. And then actual stockings with some of those designs in them, so that makes sense. There's that one. I don't think the other one I saw, but that was what I just showed you. And then, ooh, stars. 
This kind of looks like black, but almost like dark, dark green in that background there in person. I'm not sure how it looks on video. And then the kitty cat in the fishbowl, some ornaments and a corgi in a sweater. And then we've got green and looks like black to me, stripes and white or light green, not white. Um, two of these Christmas lights. Ooh, very nice light turquoise teal on the back side. And then that's the end of that one. Okay, I've got two more. This one is called Penguin Playmates. So I did the spend spend 50 and get something free. And so this is the free thing I chose. Uh, was You only have certain things to pick from that are free when you spend 50, but uh, this is the item that I chose. So we've got two polar bear, penguin, fox, and scarves with um, lavender and then green pastel trees on the back. This one is 158420. <coughs> Got polar bear, fox, penguin again, just different. Very cute. And then that's the back side. Same players, different scenario. And ooh, that would be a good Christmas background. And then it looks like just a bigger, well, similar, different positions. So same guys from this one, but different positions and bigger. So there's that one. And then that background. And then same guys, just going sledding, building snowmen. And this is really cute. Lavender snowflake background. And then the last one, they are building a snowman. The bird is bringing them a hat. And then that background. So I'll we'll take that card. And set those aside. And then the last one is a little bit different. Oops, did not mean to shake you. You're too low, that's why I hit it. Um, Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Series Paper 156329 And it does have a back side so it looks like the front sides will have metallic um, foiling I guess is what I mean uh, light pink with snowflakes, some white ones, some foiled ones, and then the back is non-foiled. And then, ooh, very pretty. Almost looks like a crayon style. Got some gold foiling there, and then pink. And then... Christmas trees, just sketchy Christmas trees with foiling. Same green on the back. And then presents. Striped, that's a lot. It just kind of comes off as a uh, rainbow. 
in the reflection, but I'm assuming it's silver foiling. Or it could just be holographic. Yeah, holographic foiling. So that it is a rainbow. And then green and white on the back. And then ornaments. A little deer, some roses, pastel ornaments. And then darker blue trees and stars. And that is that whole pack. And that is all of it. So uh, just if you're interested what is inside of those and what they look like in the light, I'll link um, Cheryl's Stampin' Up! shop down below if you would like to get any of those. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.